So thank you very much, Allentown. Thank you very much, Allentown. I know it well. Eight days, you believe that? Eight days from now, we're going to win the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, and we are going to win four more great years in the White House. I want to begin today by discussing an issue of existential importance to Pennsylvania, very, very important. Last week, sleepy Joe Biden made perhaps the most shocking admission ever uttered in the history of presidential debates. In other words, he blew it. On live television, 91 to 9. Did you see that? 91. Did you know what that means? 91 to 9. But we won't talk about that in front of the fake news. Joe Biden confirmed his plan to abolish the entire U.S. oil industry. That means no fracking, no jobs, no energy for Pennsylvania families, Texas, all the other places. He wants to go wind. Let's go wind. Let's go have brownouts, blackouts all over Pennsylvania, all over the country. He wants to go wind. He wants to go with windmills that are made in Germany and China. The Biden energy shutdown would inflict deep pain and misery on Pennsylvania, mass layoffs, constant blackouts and brownouts, soaring gas prices. Nice to have that $2 gasoline, isn't it? Surging energy bills, no air conditioning in the summer, no heat during the winter, and no electricity during peak hours. It's a choice between a Trump boom or a Biden lockdown. He wants to lock down the country again. No, we understand the disease. Well, you guys, I don't even talk to you. You're already locked down. Are you going to ever open up? Congressman, are you going to get this guy, this clown, to open it up? Whoa.